and welcome back to Keeping It Real 100 with me, Sandra D. And y'all, Pedro, <laughs> Pedro is, is out of the house, y'all. He's in the doghouse, literally. And I wouldn't want to be him right now. It sucks for Pedro right now. And Miss Karen, <laughs> y'all know we don't like Karens, but this one, this Karen you would want on your team, on your side, because she ain't playing no games. She ain't having it. So y'all, um, y'all already know Pedro and Chantel are divorcing and he been showing his, his behind to her, you know? And literally um, just antagonizing her of how much you want to leave. Divorce, divorce, divorce. I got to get away from you. You doing this, you doing that. He is too much. All because he don't got that green card, y'all. But, y'all, I saw this little clip for, for him. Um, he's looking for Chantel just to tell her that he really mean what he say. They're divorcing. So, um... Y'all, I just wanted to come here and react to this. And y'all tell me what y'all think because, you know, Pedro, you know, he is really showing himself, y'all. So without further ado, let's get into this video, y'all. Okay, y'all. So um, here we go. Let's get into this. This is a mess. Y'all, he moved out and he still think he can come in and out. You don't left the premises, buddy. You don't have no more access, especially if she changed the locks. Pedro, why, why do you not have your wife's phone number? Because I believe that I not can pay the cell phone plan and how to move on to the cell phone plan. Y'all, what in the name of Mr. Rogers, can you be my neighbor, is Karen doing? <laughs> she is talking to Pedro through the window, y'all. He, he doesn't have any more access to Chantel. She is not playing by her daughter. She's not giving Pedro any more access to Chantel. You can't pay the cell phone plan, yeah. but you had to move on. Yeah. <laughs> have some respect. Go away now and call call Chantel on the phone. Okay, you're gonna come in here to tell him for real they want to get divorced. Okay. <laughs> she said you couldn't play the, the cell phone bill, but you had to move on. <laughs> now he thought the grass was gonna be so much greener on the other side. He had a little money in the bank, and you know he got his job and his car, but he forget who bought him here. He don't know the ways of America completely yet and how we Americans um, know how to protect our assets. So Pedro, you needed to have do a little bit more research before you thought that you could just ditch Chantel like that, for real. She knows that already. Oh. You've, already you've already told her. Yeah, they're going to file the paperwork, that's it. Well, you guess what? That's no, that's the normal thing that happens when you get a divorce. <laughs> typically, you have to file the, the paperwork. Yeah. Okay. And that's way she wanna be happy. She never want to get depression again. She wanna be happy because you know how she say they make her life miserable. Now I don't like this part where he's trying to put the blame on why he's filing for divorce because she's depressed. She's unhappy. No, Chantel. On um, many occasions, try to work out um, y'all problems. She came all the way to the Dominican Republic. She was telling you she didn't want a divorce. She gave you time to sleep in the other room. You haven't been even having relations with her for like a year. And what woman is going to stand for that? No. Pedro, you had, you had, no. You, you the one who won out. So like her mom say, get out. You got it. Possible? All this stuff? Tell no, her, I never heard her say no, no, no. her no, life was no, 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 no. or impossible. No, no. <laughs> Tell her that now she wants to have everything she needs because she wants to be happy. Well, I think 
Oh, and okay. you'll have the most fabulous divorce ever. <laughs> Miss Karen even scared me. She said, you're going to have the most fabulous divorce ever. What do she know that Pedro don't know, y'all? What she know that we don't know yet? Miss Karen has something up her sleeves, and I'm here for it. I'm going to watch it all the way through, y'all. I mean, ever. Yeah. Yeah, you asked for it, so you're going to get it. You see that, how she said that? You asked for it, so you're going to get it. <laughs> is that is If that's not conniving, oh my God. <laughs> Pedro better watch out. He don't know who he messing with, Miss Karen. You know, and be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. That's what she's trying to put into his mind. You made all this um, fuss and you put all this commotion. You separating and moving out. And it ain't always green on the other side, Pedro. Sorry. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> the fake family. The fake. On fake. All the fake. <laughs> All the progress they made with them. Look, at least he can still check the mailbox. <laughs> but no, y'all. Now he calling them fake. No, they're a family that sticks together. And they can't let you keep um manipulating and tearing down the chantelle she don't deserve that no matter how bad it got between you two you know she don't deserve that i think so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this situation and pedro and karen and chantelle and um y'all just keep it real because pedro is a hot mess real for me for me the problem for her for me was feel real because there was the only family guy over here to say there were. But in the end, I feel they always were fake. So now all he got is his car and they moved out all the furniture, probably sell the house. He'll get probably half of that, but who knows? But right now, Pedro is playing with fire. <laughs> and y'all, I just thank y'all for keep watching. And y'all keep subscribing. Hit that like button hit that subscribe and join the fam and we liddy over here i'll see y'all next time on the flip side peace